Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is that angel played you. The scripture comes from Syrac 47 and 20. You brought dishonor upon your reputation, shame upon your marriage, wrath upon your descendants, and groaning upon your domain. Thus, two governments came into being when the Ephraim kingship was usurped, but God does not withdraw his mercy nor permit even one of his promises to fail. He does not uproot the prosperity of his chosen one nor destroy the offspring of his friend. So he gave to Jacob a remnant, to David a root from his own family. So here is the message. Here's the message, here's the message, here's the message. Okay, for somebody, for somebody, for somebody, you thought, you thought, you thought your person was an angel. You thought that they were perfect. You thought that they would never break your heart. You thought that they were the one for you. You thought that they, like, you just had all of these high hopes for this person. In reality, like, what's going on? <laughs> In reality, you thought this person was just so wonderful and they was so perfect. And then when they broke your heart, you did not understand. God is saying that this person is not going to get away with this guy free. God says they have brought dishonor upon their reputation. So this is a situation where this person may have tried to cheat on you in private but God said he is going to bring what this person has done to you to the light. And um, this person, I, I just feel like for you, you thought it was perfect. And I feel like um, it, it, it's a situation. This is someone that they, they wanted to marry you. They may have married you. They may you. This is, may have been your husband or your wife. And you just thought that this was the one for you. And God is saying that this person has brought shame upon this marriage. And I feel like for somebody, this is somebody that was like you. You thought that they were really happy to be with you. Um, this might be somebody that will go out shooting from the rooftops. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. But then they turn around and like, it's kind of like um, the saying that nobody wants you until you got somebody type thing. And it's kind of like this person realized that once they were married, like at first they may have really had full blown intentions of being with you. But once they realized that with them being married, it brought like other people, other people's attention. You know, as soon as they were married, all these Jezebel spirits were attracted to them, you know, and these are like, these are like, you know, these unclean spirits, God is saying that. It's like they want to destroy the marriage. They want to tear the marriage apart. And this person was so lustful. They were so lustful that they allowed these Jezebel spirits to tear your marriage apart. God says they brought shame upon the marriage, okay? And they also will have a wrath up on their descendants. And, um, okay, so first of all, they brought shame upon their reputation. They brought shame upon the marriage, okay? And um, sorry to say for whom, whomever this is for, you probably are feeling a little backlash from this. You know, it's not, um, I just feel like it's something that you wouldn't be proud or happy to announce, oh, my person is cheating. Nobody wants to say that. Like, you know, nobody wants to bring that shame up on themselves of, you know, the realization, okay, maybe I'm just not enough of them. Or maybe I'm just not the one for them. They don't like me. They are not attracted to me. Because if they were, why are they trying to be with all these people? And a wrath upon the descendants. Okay. And the wrath upon the descendants is coming from what this person has done to you. I feel like for somebody, this person, there is someone that had children outside of their marriage. And these children that were had outside of their marriage will be receiving the wrath of God. And, you know, I... It hurts me to say that because in reality, those children are innocent. But, you know, I just feel like God is saying that they are going to receive 
this wrath from him. And it might not even be like God just really getting on the children. It could simply be this person rejecting the children. Um, I was watching a movie last night where a man did that. He tried to pay off the mother. He tried to pay off the little girl and they both told him no and, and ripped the check up and spit on it. Okay. And I just feel like, um, even though she, she wasn't, uh, he wasn't married when he had the child, but I just feel like God is saying it could be something like that where this person, even though they have went around and spoiled their oats, that it doesn't mean that they are actually, um, willing to be active. And like I said, this is somebody that was proud to be married. This person was proud. They were happy to be married to the person that they weren't married to, uh, um, allegedly. At least this is what they put off, that they were so happy to be with this person. Yet and still, their lust for other people and trying out other people and doing things with other people was so strong that they broke your heart. Um, yeah. God is saying that this person, once again, they brought a uh, dishonor upon themselves. They brought shame upon the marriage. They brought a wrath upon the descendants that they had outside their marriage. They also um, have brought a groaning upon their domain. So this would be like um, wherever this person frequents, the places they like to go, the things they like to do. It is now a wrath going on in these places, regardless to if it's a situation where they are not getting along with people they typically get along with. Or if it's a situation where everybody knows what they did and are now judging them for it. Or if it's a situation to where... Um, I hear God saying there is a shunning going on for someone because of what they did. And in reality, the reason that they are being told it may be something else. But God is saying this is him putting it up on people to uh, treat this person this way because of what they did to their person, what they did to their spouse, their husband or their wife. Whew. God says he will not withdraw his mercy nor permit even one of his promises to fail to his children. So this is this part is for you. As for you, every promise that God has promised you is going to come to pass. Even if, you know, it didn't come to pass with this person, you know. And, and in reality, I feel like for somebody, this person was a counterfeit, you know. And this person, um, this was a learning experience for them. But at the same time, what they did was, I just feel like this is somebody that just would not listen. And um, God is just saying he will not withdraw his mercy or allow any of his promises to you to fail. Okay. He will not uproot the posterity. Okay. So God um, plans on your offspring will prosper. Okay. God is not going to uproot you. Okay. Okay. God says he will give you a remnant. So if this is someone you have been asking God for children, you have been asking God for offspring and you have not been able to have any children with this person, God is saying it is because he is pulling you away from them. Okay. This person has put a curse up on their children and they did this by what they have been doing, you know, and, and I just feel like this is somebody like they have no self-control at all. God said they don't have no self-control at all, at all, at all, at all. And because they have no self-control, it, it's just like you would end up in a lifetime of heartache. And God is saying he does not, he will not withdraw his mercy from you. And because he is so merciful, he is pulling you away from this person. Um, he is not going to allow this person to steal promises from you. And um, like I said, this person has now put a curse up on their descendants. So if you end up having a baby with this person, there will be a curse up on your descendants. And God said he don't want your descendants to have no curses, okay? Your offspring, um... It says he will not destroy the offspring of his friend. God sees you as his friend. God sees you as his child. God sees you as a chosen. He loves you. And you know what you went through as is heartbreaking and it's sad. But I just feel like God is saying that you will get through this. And once you get through this, he is going to bless you with the offspring that you deserve. He's going to bless you with the spouse that you deserve that won't treat you like this here. And yeah, that's the message. Okay. That's the message, y'all. You know, um, yeah. And I'm looking at the, uh, what is this, 47 and 19. But you abandoned yourself to women and gave them dominion over your body. 
So this is somebody that like they they freely were giving themselves away to women. They were freely um just just doing stuff. And you know, um sex is deeper than just a physical activity to do. We like you know, we talk about that all the time, but it it is. And, you know, this is somebody that sees it as just something to do. They see it as nothing wrong. They see it as just a sport or activity. And um, the way that they are viewing things is so messed up, okay? Um, at this point, they have this, that like, their reputation. I just feel like God is saying that he is going to, like, make it seem like if it's a situation i'm thinking about how in the inkwell movie how that man would like sneak off behind buildings and do stuff god will put this person in a position just like when he was doing that the little boy was following him and god like god will put it up on people to start doing this especially i just feel like god is saying he's putting it up on people heart to go and see what this person is doing because you may have been um wondering or you may have been talking to people or you may have been crying to people and they're like they're saying well there's no proof and it doesn't make sense and that 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 god said he is going to reveal the the truth and the proof he is going to show their true hand god says he is going to um he's going to show what they are doing okay god is saying that you're not going to have to worry about i just feel like for somebody it's kind of hard you feel like how can i like if i have no proof like i just feel like if somebody like have the proof i have the proof god said he's gonna give you your proof he is gonna give you your proof and it's not gonna be the kind of proof where it's just like only you see it and you just gotta and nobody else saw it, so now you look crazy or you sound crazy uh-uh god said everybody gonna see and it is gonna bring dishonor to this person it is gonna be bring shame upon this person and it will bring a wrath upon this person. And that's the message, y'all. That's the message. That's the message. God said this, this, these decisions that this person made in this marriage is going to affect their entire life and their entire well-being. Okay. Oof, that's a tough one. But that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.